This is a video comparing PowerShell ISE with Visual Studio Code. Now, if you're a systems administrator or help desk uh, technician who's getting into PowerShell, PowerShell ISE might feel like it's uh, more comfortable if you haven't done um, a lot of scripting or coding. Um, PowerShell ISE is installed by default from Windows 7 through the current version of Windows. And um, the, the advantage of using PowerShell ISE is it's available everywhere. So if you're on your desktop or someone else's desktop or a server, PowerShell ISE is there to help you code. Um, now PowerShell ISE is uh, specifically developed for PowerShell. Now, no other um, interests were driving the features of um, PowerShell ISE other than PowerShell itself. Uh, currently, Microsoft stopped developing PowerShell ISE, and um, <clears throat> a lot of their, a uh, lot of Microsoft's development is going towards um, other things like uh, Visual Studio Code. Now, Visual Studio Code um, is built for many, many, many languages, but it can support PowerShell. I'm going to flip over to uh, Visual Studio Code real quick. And um, it, it's a more mature uh, text editor than, um, than PowerShell ISE. Um, you can install modules, um, and uh, uh, you, you can do uh, multiple projects on uh, different languages and whatnot. Um, but I'm going to show you how to get up and running with uh, Visual Studio Code with PowerShell. It's very, very easy. Um, Microsoft kind of knew that people were going to start migrating from PowerShell ISC to uh, Visual Studio Code, and uh, they have PowerShell syntax built in. So if we just go to File, New File, um, right off the bat, if you do simple get service, uh, you'll notice that there's no syntax highlighting or IntelliSense. Uh, that's because it doesn't know what type of file it's, it's working with. Um, if you go to the bottom right-hand corner and select the language, just start typing in uh, PowerShell. And then here, you'll see that you have syntax highlighting. And then if you do space dash, let's see, space dash, you get now IntelliSense, you get name, bits. And then just like PowerShell ISE, if you hit F8, it will run the line of code. And then the console is right below, right here. Uh, my recommendation and what I develop in is PowerShell uh, or is Visual Studio Code. Uh, the reason is you get a lot more um, functionality with Visual Studio Code. Um, you can do GitHub integration if you want to do code revisions. It uh, makes quality of life for uh, code revisions with PowerShell much, much easier. Uh, I can go on and on about all the benefits, but <clears throat> if you're new to, to PowerShell, I would probably um, just dive right into Visual Studio Code. Uh, there's a lot of great documentation on it. Um, the end.